In the rolling hills of Panama, as Wero howler monkeys bark out a warning that this is their territory. But the forest these critically endangered animals are protecting is shrinking. The tropical dry forest once covered much of the Azuero Peninsula, but now this patch near the tip is part of the only 8% that still remains. You can see a teak plantation off in the distance where the trees are fairly uniform. You can see large burns of pasture. Ruth Metzel is with Pro Eco Azuero, an environmental nonprofit organization headquartered in Pedasi, Panama. She points out vast expanses of deforested hillsides. Well, we suffer no illusions that this entire peninsula is going to turn back into forests. But we do feel that it's important to conserve some strategic patches of forest along uh, waterways, um, connecting the existing forests. <laughs> Cattle ranching has been an important way of life here for generations. Fire is used to push back the forest, but a growing number of ranchers believe rangeland and the forest can coexist. 26-year-old Yarali Spaista is one of them. She's planting trees, especially in the watershed areas right near the streams and water sources uh, to restore those areas. Yaralis and other landowners are working with Pro Eco Azuero to restore patches of forest and create a 75 mile wildlife corridor where forest animals can move across the peninsula. Restoration efforts are designed to help preserve the local culture as well, as artisans rely on wood and other forest products for their livelihood. So this is our tree nursery, mostly native species. We have korotu, uh, we have nispero, caimito, which we use to reforest out in the field. Meanwhile, in Flagstaff, the Northern Arizona University School of Forestry is studying 21 different kinds of trees from Panama's tropical dry forest. In the lab, foresters are grinding up tree bits and chemically analyzing them, looking for the most resilient native trees, those that can survive drought, support other plants and animals, store carbon, regenerate nutrients, and sustain the local economy, all in support of restoration efforts on the peninsula. We're hoping to greatly accelerate our reforestation with the experiences and knowledge that NAU has to offer. We're also hoping to really advance our GIS knowledge and to connect what we're doing here with other parts of the world. As howler monkeys continue to growl from treetops, foresters may hear this as a warning about an ecosystem in trouble. In Panama, I'm Bonnie Stevens for Inside NAU.